distinguished chief guest uh, Sridhar Babu Garu, MLA Gandhi Garu, uh, our joint director uh, drug controller Chandrasekhar Garu, all the you know distinguished faculty, eminent guests, and all the participants. Uh, again, a warm welcome. Uh, won't uh, you know? I'll try to keep my comments to you know maybe less than a uh, hundred seconds, uh, considering the importance of time. Uh, just want to quickly reiterate uh, why we are here. You know, while we are talking about AI revolutionizing, transforming uh, healthcare, and we read every day about you know AI going to how it's going to change education or you know governance or you know any other field. This, uh, the reality of today is that uh, while AI can build a lot of things, uh, potentially AI cannot build itself, at least as of now. It takes you know, human creativity, human vision, effort uh, to kind of uh, get there. And I think this conference and uh, you know, under the leadership of uh, Chinnamabhagar, I have to re really thank you. I, I've never seen somebody who works as hard as uh, you do, like, <laughs> you know, in, uh, uh, putting this together. Uh, I think uh, the idea for the conference is to, you know, pull together clinicians, uh, you know, engineers, people from the technical domain, uh, people from the uh, governance domain, uh, both in terms of the political governance and the regulatory governance together to chart our uh, path forward. Um, see, in India, for any of us who work in the Indian healthcare space, there's always been two challenges, and this goes uh, many decades ago. Uh, one is that, you know, as uh, professionals, you know, we want to co contribute to our field, we want to make our field better. But the second thing that we do realize uh, is that, you know, India, you know, there's huge income disparities, huge healthcare disparities. And it's been, uh, you know, there for a long time. Like, you know, when my father was born, I think the infant mortality in India, you know, in 1959 was something like uh, close to 40%. Uh, when I was born in 1980, it was, infant mortality was at 14%. And through the, you know, effort of all the people, you know, in this room, doctors, you know, engineers, the government, you know, they, that has been brought down to a huge extent, but still a lot of challenges remain, you know, in India. So that dual, you know, we are currently in India, we're uh, addressing both the challenges. We're working on, on one side, we're working on making healthcare accessible to more and more people, and that's the mission that, you know, probably the lot of doctors uh, share and, you know, the uh, organization shares. And, uh, you know, the second mission is to, how do we advance medical care? And this transformation, you know, I think Yashoda in the early decades, we were more focused on the first mission of creating more access. And while we continue to do that, we also want to invest very actively in pushing the boundary forward uh, to extend that, you know, there was, uh, you know, in my growing up in the 80s, I used to read that, you know, the chief minister of the state has tra traveled to US for medical care or so. But now, as our uh, minister has mentioned, there are numerous countries, and including, you know, currently in this hospital, the people from more than like 40 countries, you know, uh, are probably represented, uh, you know, in the patient base uh, at Yashoda. I think that's the transformation. You know, how do we use? Um, you know, we are uh, Yashoda wants to be an enlightened player, provide healthcare, you know, improve people's lives, uh, you know, as much as possible. And we recognize the transformative power of uh, AI, and we'd like to very keen on investing in that. We also understand that AI can lead to further healthcare disparities if it's not properly, you know, uh, handled and uh, developed. And we are very keen on, you know, taking guidance from our uh, regulatory authorities on, you know, the path forward. Uh, in terms of more action items, kind of uh, spinning out from this conference for us. Uh, Yashoda and uh, Triple IT are in, you know, on a, I would say, advanced path to setting up like a center of excellence uh, for AI, which would, uh, you know, the way we are looking at it is potentially co-located both in uh, Triple IT, which is not very far from here, and, uh, you know, at Yashoda, and bring together, you know, the governance, the clinical leaders, you know, from here, the patient data, uh, the expertise, the pathways, and the technical expertise that is provided uh, by IIIT. 
under the guidance uh, of the you know uh, minister uh, honorable minister and the government of uh, telangana in trying to uh, identify uh, you know and work on solutions that are relevant to our uh, population uh, as part of the center of excellence i think the first uh, project probably is to work on an ai uh, sandbox i think that's where uh, most of our uh, effort and uh, uh, is focused on so the sandbox for people who are not familiar is a you know kind of a building a limited ecosystem uh, to translate uh, research and new ideas into you know final uh, clinical practice without like so we want to build the guardrails we don't we want to make sure that we are doing this in a safe and effective manner and uh, we want to provide opportunity for the doctors at uh, yashoda and uh, you know broadly in the community to experiment with uh, ai tools at the same time we want to provide an environment for uh, technical institutes to come uh, to our inst place and uh, get uh, guidance uh, you know access to you know uh, data that can help build the models that will guide us uh, with this i'd like to thank all of you for coming here and thank the distinguished guests for uh, making gracing the occasion <laughs>